Ufiade, and this is your word for the week, John chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 24 to 27. The Bible said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verse 25. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Verse 26, For as the Father has life in himself, so has he given to the Son to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Verse 25 is my emphasis. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that is Jesus speaking. He said, The hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. This is my admonition to you this week. Every dead thing as an hear, they can hear. Now, the Bible said, he said, he that heareth my word and believe on him that sent me has everlasting life. They have passed from death unto life. If you are born again, you are a child of God. You carry Zoe, the very life of God on the inside of you. That is the everlasting life. The Zoe, the same quality of life that Jesus had. The same quality of life that God has. The God life is on the inside of you. Now, if that God life is inside of you, as verse 26 said, he said, as the Father has life in himself, he gave to the Son, Jesus Christ, to have life in him, and the Son has, and he has given the Son authority to execute judgment because he's the Son of Man. Remember what the Bible said in John chapter 1 verse 12. He said, as many as received him, to them he gave the power, the exousia, the authority, to become sons of God. So it means the very life that Jesus has. If you believe in him, you're born again, you carry that same Zoe life, that same quality of life. So you have that same authority. Okay, so if God had given Jesus the authority to execute judgment because he's the son of man, you also carry the same authority to execute judgment. Now, this is where verse 25 comes in. If you as a believer carry the authority to execute judgment, Jesus said, the hour is coming and that hour now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. Now, I'm saying to you by the Spirit of God this week, every dead thing has an ear, they can hear you. So, your challenge this week is to open your mouth with the authority that has been vested in you as a son of God and speak to those dead things. Listen to me. Every dead business has an ear they can hear. Every dead organ or tissue in your body, every dead situation, dead academics, dead businesses, dead things, dead things no matter what it is if it is dead he has an ear jesus said when the dead shall hear the voice of the son of god they that hear shall live if you will speak to that dead business they will hear not your voice but the voice of the son of god and when it hears it it will live you are praying oh god come down and help me but god is saying the word of god is saying jesus said in this passage he said the hour is now that the dead will hear the voice of the son of god through your voice and when they hear they will live this week i want to challenge you god has sent me to tell you open your mouth and speak with the vested authority release the zoe the quality of life of god on the inside of you and speak to all those dead things around you dead relationships dead contracts dead businesses dead organs dead things in your life speak to them they will hear and they will respond and they will come alive i believe god together with you as we're celebrating easter that let this be a reminder to you, you carry the Zoe, the quality of God life that Jesus has, 
And when you speak, you speak with the voice of the Son of God. So speak to every dead thing in and around your life. And I bet you they will respond and come alive by the authority of the Holy Spirit. I stand in agreement together with you that this will be a week filled with the victory of the Son of God for you and everything that is yours. I bless you with the blessings of God and I decree it is well with you in Jesus' name. Bye for now. Thank you.